Hey everybody, my name is Virginia from Keep On Keeping On. And the reason why I have chosen this life for is because, first of all, I have had enough stuff going on in my life that's totally negative. I'm a domestic assault survivor. And I have young onset Parkinson's. And I've just dealt with a lot, a lot of negativity in my life, which I am so tired of. I'm tired of cold weather. I'm tired of being too hot. I'm tired of bad neighbors. I'm tired of abusive ex-husbands who threaten and you can't even see your own kids without them yelling and cussing and, and also threatening you to take your life. That's another story I don't really, really want to get into because it really does hurt. <sighs> On the inside. I can't even see my own kids because of the threats of violence. It gets my life. Sorry, shook the, shook the phone there. 
and all that it's that's a long 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 story that I'm gonna have to tell later on um, on there and and life is just too short to deal with that stuff especially when you have a health issue health issue like me when you're under a lot of stress with Parkinson's disease um, that can exacerbate the, the symptoms dealing with hot weather cold weather bad neighbors um, stress so right now you know I like to travel and look at new things but right now staying in one spot for a while until the weather gets too hot or there's a lot of mayhem and a lot of confusion I'm not dealing with that nope 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 yes this RV park has its downfalls um, it doesn't have the laundry facilities or showers or anything that I would like but that's not that far down the road maybe what half a mile I can't drive a half a mile come on the grocery stores are half a mile from here post office everything and there's no screaming no hollering no not a lot of loud animals not a lot of loud noise and it's not extremely close to the interstate or the highway yes there's some noise in the background from that but it can kind of lull you to sleep the internet's not the best and um there's no cable but that doesn't bother me at all because um and also tv reception is zero but what i can do is rent a red box there's a red box on that far down the road from here and um and tv is not that important there's books to read there's lots of exploration in the jeep or walking and riding a bicycle if if my health allows it and my medicines aren't off at the time on there and um i can take classes there's um this place that um offers spanish classes for a whole six months for five dollars five dollars that is it i'm thinking about taking that that on those are on mondays and i'm learning to play the instrument so you know who needs tv who needs all that you know there's cooking also and all that and what i gotta say is when you choose this lifestyle or it chooses you it pretty much shows me what i think keep your area clean inside and out dishes clean laundry clean pick up your mess please pick up your mess don't be one of the neighbors one of those people that say oh my gosh that person they are filthy and they're disgusting and they make a lot of noises and keep people up at night and we're gonna have to call the cops you don't want to be known as that person because first of all you can be blacklisted who wants to be blacklisted from running even a an RV spot that can even prevent you from running a house running a hotel room you don't want to be one of those people at all so this is me this is my life goods and bads and I am learning every single day on filming you know this is just a learning process and also my family can see how I'm doing and where I'm at in this world that I'm okay that's all that matters I'm okay and I'm alive and I'm here one more day in this world and that's a gift no matter what no matter how much negativity I have experienced in this world abuse in this world and I try not to be sad I try to keep strong for everybody around everybody including myself I have to even though it's hard for me to be strong sometimes I wish someone would be strong for me instead of me having to be strong for them give me the answers show me the way the only person that can do that so far is God no one else has been able to do that for me even if I have to be 100% on my own no one around me well 
hopefully, um, and find your inspiration in this world. Find your inspiration. Mine it was and is my grandpa. That's where the name Keep On Keeping On came from. He'd always say, keep on keeping on. God rest his soul. He was a strong man. He had his issues himself. He wasn't a perfect man at all. was not a perfect man. But he believed in family. He believed in God. And no matter what, he kept married to my grandma in spite of things. Well, that's a whole other story too. I don't think I'm going to talk about it.